Since I started YouTube in 2014, yeah, it's been that long, many of you have asked for gaming mouse recommendations. Now I'm happy to reveal that I have something which has nothing to do with recommendations, but you might be interested anyway. It's my personal rating list. Oh, hear me out. Recommendations are biased. You have your personal taste. So if I'm recommending something, it's because I find it good, you know? Some people like to twist that, make it sound like it's just facts, which it isn't. That's why it made sense to me to make a personal, tailor-made, completely biased rating list. It also serves as a diary for me because my memory is worse than a goldfish. But I figured a lot of people might be interested in this. And you also might be wondering, who the hell does this? Well, I like creating lists. I like adding stuff in them. Feels rewarding. Some of you will understand. The rating system is simple. I have different aspects that I rate one to five. One is terrible, five is great. And the final score is the average score of each aspect combined. I hate to admit this, but I've spent way too much time on what type of aspects I want to rate because it has to make sense intuitively for me. I've changed them countless times over the span of weeks like a psycho, but today they're good. Under single player games, you'll notice that only Half-Life 2 and Talos Principle got a perfect score. That's because they're god tier games, I don't care what you say. And you might be surprised to see if you're a Souls fan that Elden Ring didn't get a perfect score and that's just me being completely honest with myself. Everything in that game shines, but Souls games in general have stories that are just what the f and that will remove some points. Obviously, your list will probably look different from mine. No, wait, it will 100% look different from mine. But if you have similar taste buds, we can drink wine and be friends. But if we go back to the topic of the video, what mouse I recommend, my highest rated mouse is the Lamzu Atlantis. It's actually insane, but I only recommend it to people who rely on claw. If you want a safe shape, then I recommend the Logitech G Pro X Ultralight. And if you prefer a relaxed palm, you really can't go wrong with the Razer Death Adder V3. My next mouse on the wish list is Vaxi's XE Wireless since it's supposed to be like a larger GPX. Link will be down below if interested and peace.